Usyk vs. Fury fight day. Man, oh man, it's finally here. After one cancellation in February, uh, we had the anticipated weigh-in. And you know what? Tyson Fury coming in a little bit lighter than we expected. Well, I guess on fight, we, we kind of realized Tyson Fury was going to come in lighter. He was, his face was very thinned out. And, of course, Alexander Usyk coming in a bit heavier than we have seen him before. Uh, I, I think, I don't, I, I don't really hold too much stock into these weights. I, I think these guys are, it, all it does is really expose their game plan for the fight. I feel like Tyson Fury is coming in a bit lighter than the norm, at least a bit lighter than he's coming recently. Not so much the norm because he's been lighter in the past, but a bit lighter than he's coming recently because, you know, he wants to be able to still be the bigger guy. And against the former cruiserweight, he's still going to be way bigger. But of course, he's also going to want to have the conditioning and the cardio because this fight may go longer. So uh, I think him coming in a little bit lighter uh, shows he's worked on his conditioning, his cardio, and of course, he'll have less weight to carry around. Alexander Usyk, on the other hand, is kind of the opposite, right? The heaviest we've seen him. I think he kind of expects a physical fight from Tyson Fury. It, it, I, I think it's not a bad guess because Fury uh, has fought very physical against the smaller heavyweights such as Deontay Wilder. So I think uh, I could see... Fury trying to make this, at least in spots, a very physical fight, a bully-type fight. So I think Usyk wants, wanted to put on more mass so that he's more difficult to push around. He's going to be a smaller guy regardless. But, you know, pushing around a bigger guy may tire out Fury a little bit more. Who knows? Maybe that's the thought process behind Usyk. Will this slow down Usyk? I don't know what you guys think at home, but it's some, certainly something to keep in mind. Usyk is, Usyk's bread and butter is kind of his better timing, his better speed than most of his opponents, especially at heavyweight. Will it slow down Usyk because he's carrying around weight that he's not? used to carrying i guess it'll depend on the way he's felt in camp the way he's looked in camp by this weight but nonetheless it's still something to keep in mind going into this fight also tyson fury he's had some trouble with southpaws um also the cut you know uh how's he recovering from that cut in, in uh that he suffered it uh, back in february it's not really that long of a period of time to recover from um from such a that type of cut and to be uh rescheduling the fight so soon because really you know, you got to think about has he been able to spar the same way and then train the same way? Or is that cut still kind of fresh in the way it's healed and could it open up? And if it does open up, what kind of problems does that pose? You know, uh, I, I think in a tight fight, I, I slightly favor Tyson Fury. I could see this fight being a draw or a close decision. Um, I could even see maybe a possible knockdown. Uh, Tyson Fury scores on Usyk, maybe pushing him around a little bit, of maybe a little bit of a debated knockdown because there's a southpaw versus right-hander uh, conflict there as well. As, and also Fury may uh, try to make it physical in spots. I think this fight could be nip and tuck in, 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 in a lot of spots. Usyk is certainly going to be sharper in some rounds. Fury is going to be able to also, you know, use his use his height, his physical size as well in some rounds. I expect a very, very competitive fight. I slightly, ever so slightly angle towards Tyson Fury. But I wouldn't be shocked if there's a draw either because, you know what, they, they really want to make this rematch. I've heard in some places that there is a two-fight deal, which really, at the end of the day, doesn't always matter because Crawford and Spence had a two-fight deal and nobody's looking to fight that rematch or nobody's looking to make that rematch. So I've heard there's a two-fight deal. So if anything's close... In order to you know solidify that two fight status, they, who knows? You might you might see a draw. I do see a close competitive fight. I'm gonna slightly edge Tyson Fury. Just don't be shocked if it's a draw. That's the way I'm seeing it. I don't know what you guys are seeing. How you guys see? Do you guys feel the performance against Engano that Tyson Fury had a few months back? Should that be considered? Is that, is that should that be considered more than maybe I'm taking it anyway? You know, I'm not really considering that a lot. I feel like that was sort of a uh, a hiccup, a, a little bit of a distraction for Fury, but it seems like he's focused and really honed in on this fight with, and has come in with a bit of a chip on his shoulder. But Usyk is never a guy who comes in without concentra uh, full concentration and without a uh, very disciplined game plan. I'm Paulie Malinaji, guys. Let me know your thoughts. And this is Paulie TV.